everybody. It's Emma Vanderbilt with another episode of Once Around the Block. I'm here with the one, the only. Stephanie Cantisano. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Hi, good. Let's walk and talk. Okay. Let's get the hat out of the way. Oh. No, I'm saying. Oh, okay. Because I'm wearing such a cool hat. Oh, yes. Let's talk about it. So that's from my company. My daughter and I started a company, a clothing line, called Love Legislation. And uh, as I went to art school about, you know, 100 years ago, <laughs> I decided to... Uh, create it's a brand base so I wanted to create a logo uh, so I did an anatomical drawing I did all these different drawings it took I filled up an entire pad of paper and then I finally came up with something that I think matched what we were trying to get across love legislation the yeah. opposite of hate legislation uh -huh. handed off to my younger to my older daughter excuse me Sophia yeah. and said can you make a computer graphic out of this and she said I sure can uh -huh. and it's gonna be dope and she awesome. did awesome and, and it's an optical illusion and yes. we're very very proud of it and i'd say 89 90 percent of the people only see one basic thing at first and they don't see the actual thing there's two images right and it's always i love to look in people's eyes mm -hmm. when they see the other thing the other <laughs> image the realization happens. Yes. I'm going to do one more shot for the folks at home with my cool hat. What color is this anyway that I have? That one is a sea foam. Sublime sea foam. Sublime. I feel fantastic. I do feel sublime right now. <laughs> I, feel, I feel dope. Uh, so love legislation. And it's it's hats? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's hats. It's activewear. I hate the term athleisure. It makes my skin crawl. Yeah. It's really, we're trying, we're coining the term actual wear because it's sort of like activist wear yes. and active active wear right um it's very urban edgy um is it is it very like uh you can, can you could do anything with it yes okay. exactly like for instance i love clothing because it's sort of like like i'll it's a second skin to me i love foreign languages too yeah. i like things that make I feel like I can change and fit in and meet new people depending on what I wear and what languages I speak. Right. So, like for instance, these are my cool shoes. I think they're Mark Fisher, but I love these shoes because they're really cute, but they're fun to walk in. But I'm wearing them with with activewear pants. And this is from your I, line. From my line, awesome. Love Legislation. Awesome. And I actually designed the pants myself. It's an asymmetrical, which is also I love asymmetrical things okay. because you know no one's perfectly symmetrical sure. I think it's it it's it's real being asymmetrical is very real because huh. no one's honest. perfectly balanced huh cool yeah so it's uh, and so okay so it's it's for everyday life it's for making it to the co so there's other things there's tops there's bottoms yes. there's anything. we have headbands we have snapbacks we have dad caps we have uh, tank tops coming out, unisex tank tops yeah. coming out. And is this all going to be an e-commerce thing? Sorry, I interrupted. Yes, yes, okay. it is an e-commerce thing. But we're going to try to get into boutiques. That's what we're doing now as okay. well. Another cool thing is, um, it's, as we say, it's. We also call it protest wear. Yeah. And what happened with the name Love Legislation is that when L NCHB two happened. Mm -hmm. uh, few years ago now which is North Carolina House Bill 2 for anyone who's not familiar was the anti-trans legislation and okay my daughter at the time my older daughter Sophia um, is at Columbia University she's she loves fashion but she also loves politics she's a DC kid grew up in DC yeah um, I love fashion and politics and had just come off a year living in Rome where I was really juiced about my my fashion and I said, Sophia, we got to do something about this. I mean, to me, it's just so glaringly backwards. You know, my, uh, my ex-husband is Dominican. You know, years ago, I technically, I wouldn't have been out, allowed to, to marry him right. in, in certain states in right. the United States because of the fact that, you know, he's mixed race. And I just thought, jeez. Are we going backwards again? Right. Are we taking a step back? So we got to, we have to do something that encompasses this, but not just this, because it'll always be something. Right. Um, so we talked about calling it Unicorn Lou, like uh, <laughs> um, unicorns are these beautiful, magical creatures, equating that with a trans person, and then Lou, like a bathroom, you know, in England. Yeah, yeah. And then we thought, well, that's too one, that's too one, that's that one thing. Right. We need to make it broader. Right. So we took hate legislation and we spun it. Nice. We said, 
love legislation. And so we came up with this brand. We have it copyrighted, and uh, we're really excited. Very cool. Yeah, and I feel like, do you remember what Michael Jordan said years ago? Sure. He's about. Remind his, me. He's. <laughs> he <laughs> he's said. A lot of things, huh? He said. Uh, <laughs> Somebody asked him, Michael, why don't you take a stand on politics? And he said something to the effect of, well, because Republicans buy my tennis shoes too. And Sophia and I just really feel that it's time to take a stand. Okay. Um, you know, I'm the mom of two Latina daughters. Yeah. And um, I, I can't, the, the direction this, the, the person who's heading this country is, uh, it frightens me yes. beyond words. Okay. Um, I'm very pro-woman, feminist, <laughs> in so many respects. Yes. Um, so you're doing something about it. We're doing something about it. And you're doing something it. positive. And we believe everyone has to just take a stand now. Yeah. If you, feel, if you don't do anything, you're on the wrong side. Right. That's the way we feel anyway. Sure, sure. Um, that's super intense. You want to keep talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty intense. No, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's important too. Um, but it's also like taking our love of art and design and computer graphics right. and Here. really thinking about things and calling attention to things, you know, and then putting that into clothing. And plus you're working with your daughter. It's pretty cool. You have yeah. a cool relationship with your, your kids. Yeah. Um, super cool. I actually, um, Met Michelle Obama the other day. Really? Super cool. That's she was, awesome. She was at this exercise class, and I, I had, I had, I had some hats with me because I always have hats with me. Yeah. And um, I actually was so nervous. I thought I'm just gonna go up and say something. Yeah, so yeah. I went up, and I was short, so you know, sweaty armpits, and um, <laughs> her Secret Service sort of threw the body block. Yeah. But I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything. I just, I just sort of say, Mrs. Obama. And I called her Mrs. Obama. Yeah, I yeah. said, you are an inspiration. And I just want you to know, my daughter and I started a, a woman and minority owned company. And um, we would be honored if you wore one of our hats. And she stopped. And then the Secret Service agent has to stop. <laughs> and she said, thank you so much. Really? And I literally walked away and I started to tear up. Are we there? Uh-huh, yeah. to cry. Oh man, yeah, that, that must have been intense. There's a lot of things going on there. A lot of things going on there, and I just think that she is the a current day Jackie Robinson. She has to have such grace under so much pressure. Yes. And then bringing up those two little girls who aren't little girls anymore, and right. in the spotlight, and you know who her husband is. <laughs> yeah. I miss I him. Just, I miss him. Is that I all do right? too. I do too. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Listen, uh, we talked. We were saying before the blocks are gonna go super fast. It's going pretty fast. Yes. What's up, man? Is there anything else you want to shout out to? Or uh, throw out there. Yeah. I also would like to say, I've been thinking a lot about being a strong woman lately. Yes. And um, you know, I'm, I've recently gotten separated, and I've noticed, I've noticed that a lot of times when women are strong and self-possessed and have an opinion, a well-informed opinion, because that's always important to have a well-informed opinion. Um, a lot of times, men like to shut us down. Mm -hmm. They can't deal with it. And I just want to tell all the young women out there, it's not about being accepted by, by any one sex. You be who you are. Be as smart as you can be. Get as well-educated as you can gas get. And speak your opinion. Be proud of yourself. Awesome. That's awesome. I I, uh, I have this thing that I usually start now called the words of wisdom, mm -hmm. the wow moment. But I feel like you just did it. Do you, do you want to do another one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, get a neti pot. If you have allergies, get a neti pot. I always tell people that. <laughs> All right, we've come around the block. <laughs> you want to say bye to the folks at home? Peace, peace, everybody. Plug your plug. Where's the website? lovelegislation.com awesome. and we also have an Instagram and a Facebook business page. Awesome, all under Love Legislation. Yes. Sounds good. Thank you very much, my friend in Nederland. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.